finish this talk. <laughs> Didn't know. It's got Down syndrome. Look at it. Yep. Kind of looks like the. No, I'm not going to say that. Is that it? I'm saying, looks like it's. It looks like the guy from uh, Stranger Things. <laughs> Welcome back to Cream Crew, a podcast for champions only by champions. And just to let you know right now, uh, we got to sit down with one of our delicious and handsome fathers. We won't say who. Tom. Uh, so if you want to listen to that episode, it is a bonus episode right now on our Patreon. And that's how you get a uh, Patreon ad done at the beginning of the episode. So people who want to know about Tom's dad and how handsome he is. And he does flash his cock and balls in the video as well. I'm. Uh, I like how you took it out of our hands, so we couldn't long it out for like four minutes. That was probably smart. <laughs> oh, you did. You, did you want to pad it? I kind of like immediately starting <laughs> it. letting people letting people know the show and just being like, by the way, we, you you can give us money. That's actually a thing you can do. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> I'm not going to say you have to, but you probably should. Yeah, I don't want to say that you have to at all. I would never say that, but I will say your life will be. 150% better if you did. I think we do. I think our bonus episodes are actually pretty fucking good. Some of them are like better than I the think main so ones. Yeah. They're better than they're better than the ones we put up on the fucking main channel. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, this isn't a covert advertisement, but they are probably even better than the ones we do normally, which are already incredibly good. I don't want to yeah, yeah. I don't want to hurt the conversion, but your dad would not be mean to you. He would not betray your honor, and that was frustrating. What a fucking guy! Well, you, we, we, no, 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 or, or did he? We don't know. You have to go to the episode <laughs> to figure out. Uh huh. Yeah, was, he said some fucked up shit that really hurt my feelings. Horrible, horrible things. And I, I honestly, we, the reason we made it the bonus is because it's so graphic and so raw that there's no way we could have monetized it on YouTube. Absolutely. So you listen to the whole thing, Tom? Yeah, I've heard it. I was mm. in the room whilst it was being recorded, so. Oh, that's right. Of course. I was fucking watching it like a hog. Don't you say mm. anything. Don't you fucking say anything. They said a hog. Like that, they too. They said hog for a second. Like a little fucking, yeah, like a little pig nipping at his, his <laughs> fucking calves the entire time. Come on now, Tommy. Stop it, Tommy. Get off me. Was he what you expected? Was he how you remembered? He's lost a lot of weight. It worked good. I, yeah, I don't. I don't really remember what he looked like. I just kind of remember the voice. Um, no, no, his voice sound like, exactly. Well, it was one. The question for you is: Was he what you expect? The question for Don is: Was he how you remembered? Mm. Oh, I see. I see. I think he's what I expected. I definitely. It definitely. It's interesting seeing like autism from a different time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's a like class year back then. It's World War Two. It's a like class year back then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like uh, assembling a stuka. <laughs> yes. Well, it's like the way he, the way he just, yeah. It's just interesting. I don't know. Once again, you gotta, you gotta watch the episode to really know exactly what we talked about. But it is, uh, no. I mean, I don't know. It, it, the parallels are there, though. Like, I feel like if you were born, mm. I don't know, like thirty or forty years before you were initially born, I feel like you would have talked like that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you guys are definitely of the same gene. Yeah, it's undoubtedly What's well, funny true. is the, the autism didn't stick to Tom's other three siblings like that. Like his, They didn't uh, get the good genes yeah, it, it didn't take hold. It took four tries, you know? Yeah, but he's a fucking YouTube definitely YouTube more star. like you than... Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I mean, he's, mm -hmm. there's no arguing with that. There's no arguing with that. I do uh, right. hear, hearing that, hearing that, and hearing you even being overseas and stuff like that. It does. It has gave me. It's given me quite the itch to go across seas, to Britain maybe, but also maybe somewhere else. You should start with the UK. I mean, it's such an easy dip into Europe because you know the yeah, language and, and go in. Everybody, everybody speaks there's the there's language. There's so much it's, like yeah. metal history here that you would enjoy. Let me tell you though, boys. I went to Warhammer World <laughs> and it was quite exquisite. Uh, uh, so you did end up going. Uh, yeah, yeah. I went to Warhammer. You said that, like nice. I said, I wasn't going to go. Well, I thought that. Well, I could have swore that we, on the, one of these episodes you were talking and you were like, "Oh, I don't know. It's kind of out of the way." Is what I thought I heard you say. So did they uh, get a new building? Remember, but in is any it case, an all new, went, all new space or whatever. I don't think. I don't. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't think it's a new building. But they basically like 
We uh, the only thing I remember when I went with you, Don, was like a little tiny kind of long room with some models and some cases and like a book you could sign, and then like the big gaming mm. area that was full of tables. And then um, that little mm. kind of but, lame tavern thing where you could buy a sandwich. Is that still there? Oh, bug Bugman's. Yeah, yeah. that's still there. I don't know <laughs> if it's bigger than it was. Why is that lame? Why is that lame? It was. It, it was just kind of like. It was so almost cool. English. There was it, sort it, of one foot in, it, one it, foot out, it, trying to be like themic. You like know? it's trying to be fancy, but but yeah, not. it's like trying to be themic, whatever. Yeah. But really, it's just like Wonder Bread with like mozzarella cheese, and they're just like, "That's fifty quid." There you go. How about yeah, it? That's they food. Should, they that's should food cheese from sandwich. The Sigma Army. That <laughs> <Yeah>. is. <laughs> You're like no. from, from the Warhammer. No, it's not. That's from Tesco. That's what that is. That's from fucking Sainsbury's yeah, down no, the road. No, it's, it's not. From Walmart. No, it's not. No, no that's that from the old the, world. That just came off the Empire's. <laughs> that just came off the Empire's ship, is what it was. It's finger snacks that the Emperor didn't need. They'd be 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> Them warp snacks, they is. That'll be 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> After everything he says, you're like, no, I really just, just, just a glass of water would be great. <laughs> it actually, we're on three different planets, and it, the warp speed drive, that'd be 50 quid. That is the water from Davin 7, Daddy. That'd be 50 quid. <laughs> Just like it. <laughs> Everything is 50 quid. God, man, Even stop. if you added things, that's 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the price yeah. doesn't go up or down. It's just 50 quid no matter what. All right, fine. I'll take seven sandwiches. Yeah, even five, seven sandwiches. But I would feed a whole platoon a little blood. That'd be 50 quid. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, let me, actually, let me tell you this. this. This is something I wanted to know, too. So you haven't been back in a while. When you did go back to the Warhammer world, because we do talk about autism a lot on this podcast, don't we? Yeah, I would say we're we're autistic connoisseurs. <laughs> yes, did you connoisseurs. notice any of the the Brit? Did, did you notice any of like like British autistic people? And, and Absolutely. Second question to follow up was: Is it similar to the states, or did it have its own fun flair? It's uh, it's definitely got its own flair to an extent. So, I mean, mm. it was so basically I like that. It was the new build. It's not a new building, but like they have this thing where it's like. First off, you enter through a giant store, like a giant parade of bullshit you can buy, obviously. Like kind of the like the store that we had in Texas, or whatever, that just kind of like one of those, except supercharged, I'm guessing. Yeah, like massive, like ridiculously big. Okay. And then mm. you can hang out there, or in, there's like a game room that's kind of themed as like a castle, basically, uh, around the, the walls on the outside of it. And there's just, I don't know, there's got to be like fucking 30 tables set up for people just playing. Warhammer, but then awesome. you can pay to go through the exhibit rooms, and it's basically like four rooms with these crazy dioramas with like ten thousand models in them. Um, mm. They're like insane, like insane. There's one in the like fourth, mm. the last exhibition, or the one just before it. There's a room. The basically the whole like a small-ish room, but the whole room is like one diorama and it's like a staircase wraps around it so it's big enough that you start <laughs> above it sweet, and man. then you like yeah. and there's like there's a bunch of like they've got like gunfire and bombs and like a soundscape oh, playing are those, like the lights are change are those <laughs> are those permanent fixtures or do they like on or do they like oh every four months we put in a new one yeah no they, they switch you know I mean? it up so like um, oh wow! They just had like a That'd be so much fucking work. Oh, mm -hmm. dude, it's mad! Like tens of thousands of man hours. Um, but they put in a brand new one, like just before we got there, I guess, with like the new Tyranids, and that was probably my favorite diorama. It's like crazy. The They've got all these like Tyranids storming out of like under a like a city, like it's kind of a skyscraper, but the skyscraper's foundations are fucked, and it's like falling because they're all swarming out the bottom of it, and just super fucking sick. Like I was. It was like yeah. a brief spark. Like I felt alive very briefly. <laughs> yeah, um, my childhood. Yeah. Like a well, brief spark yeah, of being I, a kid. And, and I know why. And I know why it got cut off is because as soon as you're looking and you're like, "Oh my god, this is awesome!" As soon as you hear a big fucking gangly British finger tap you on the shoulder behind, and he's like, "Hey, you like the exhibit here? We got shots here for fifty quid. <laughs> fifty quid. <laughs> fifty um, quid. And also, don't forget your. We got a, a nice bag of." I don't know what's a fucking Br a nice bag of pudding here that you can have just as well. A bag of pudding, cream. just a fucking yeah, yeah just, bag of cream, just a saran, but the saran wrap of pudding. 
It's just a saran wrap of pudding and biscuits in there. You go in there. Fifty quid it is. You know what pisses me off? Those you say you say, you say castle. Why the fuck isn't there one sci-fi thing? Like when I went to Universal Studios, I'm not a, I'm not obviously not a Star Wars fan, but seeing all the cool sci-fi setup and like sets got me hard, very hard. And it, the whole thing is like space travel and all this kind of stuff. Why isn't one room like? Like a, like a, you know, the fucking Marines, like ship, like a, like a room that would be on the ship. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, for I sure. Think I think they do a bit of they've had that too. castle thing for like a long time, but I was hmm. getting to your initial question. I was just building the scenery out, so to speak. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. Go ahead. That's, that's fine. So anyway, there's all these exhibitions that are crazy, fucking massive in scope. And you do see like the indoctr indoctrination of children happening before your eyes. Like and you hear the autistic <sighs> parents transferring their autism down the line to their children. <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> this is my favorite one. Well, that's the thing with the with British autists is it's very much it's more subdued. It's very much like yes, <laughs> this is the Imperial Guard. Of course, it's called the Astra Militarum <laughs> now. And can you tell me what that one is? And he like waits for his fucking <laughs> sack eyed kids like staring at the figures to answer. He's like, <laughs> uh, yes, no, yes. The I like I like this one, dude. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, that's an excellent choice, young young man, because that is that's in fact old one eye himself. Um, hero when of the Armageddon campaign. You'll see with your with your bit. Oh, he has like acid reflux because he's fat as shit. When you're a bit older, I'd have to tell you about the very graphic war that this person's <laughs> in general for. Actually, but I want you to look at this one over here. Okay, okay, Dad. I saw a, I saw what I think was a child literally come his pants. He there was this big display and this like little, literally this little child just kind of walked up to the display, looked in it, like threw pudding in my pants. He threw his head back and went, ah, ah. I was. Dad, I got a, I got a, I got a pants, I got a pants full of cream. And the guy runs up quick. He's like, "That's fifty quid, right, Dad? For that cream, that's 50, 50. grabbing his fucking his big pants, his cum pants. Oh yeah, there's a big fucking oyster in your pants. Eh? That's fifty quid. You can clean yeah, that up. That's, clean that's, that's right chaos now, cream, Daddy. That's fifty quid. <laughs> but I'm glad. So did you did you make any impulse purchases? I'm a big impulse buyer. I feel like I would have bought something. No, I, I, like a shirt I took, even. so I, I didn't go up there just by myself when my buddy Jenkins, but I also took my two nephews, um, and I spent money on them. So I didn't get anything, but, um, I got them some uh, stuff. What, what your cousin who came to Texas, was he with you? My nephew. Yeah. 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 Or yeah. My, your nephew. Was he just up there trying to sniff out some fucking autistic pussy? It was entirely male. I will have, there was no women. There was like, what's funny what's is- that's the, that's the thing is he, he, his, his nose is the ground like an old bloodhound. He's like- <laughs> in the, Yeah, yeah he, gets, he like, gets right up to like, like the door that no, says- There's no strangers. He gets no like right up to the door that says staff only and the trail goes cold. He's like, I can't go through there, yeah. but I know what you mean. He's like scratching at the door. <laughs> he's on a leash. You fucking pull him back. Damn! I, speaking of the Star Wars thing too, which I, I just had a random thought, which is, you know how they do, so they have like the Star Wars at Disney and then they have like Harry Potter at Universal Studios, right? Like this little yeah. sections. What would be the most inappropriate franchise that you could put into a theme park? Schindler's List. Schindler's List theme one that would probably go pretty well in Universal Studios. I bet that would you could probably do that. I was trying to think about what would be. I mean, Schindler's List. That's a you. You kind of had a heavy hitter immediately. I don't know if I'm going to be able. To <laughs> I, what did? That what did? You, well, that was the question, wasn't it? Well, it's not a franchise. Well, it is. I'm just it's saying. I just thought it was going to be so. more of a thought. You just had that one fucking locked and loaded. You psychopath. Let me think. I'm just, um, I don't think it counts. Uh, can you imagine waiting in a long line <laughs> oh, <sorry>. for Schindler's <laughs> List yeah, roller fake, coaster? Fake yeah, yeah. And at the end, and at, and at the end of it, obviously. And at the at the end of the fucking line in these ovens, or whatever. Which these are such a stupid. Joke. <laughs> this is such a stupid idea. But imagine at the end of it, it's like an Italian themed thing where you get like flatbread pizza, a Schindler's List flatbread flatbread themed pizza, and that's what you got. And that's what you waited in line for. 
What would the ride be? They always have like a big ride, your staple ride. What would be? What would the ride be? What would the ride be in Schindler's List? Yeah, and then the, the themed area. I, do you know what? I'm going to level with you. I have not actually seen Schindler's List, so this can be very hard for me to <laughs> put together. But well, I mean, it's just Nazi themed. I feel okay. So obviously, yeah, it's going to yeah. be a train. It's yeah, going to yeah, be a little train, train. a little yeah. steam engine, maybe. Yeah, and it's going to take you through the gates. That's that's oh, dude. What if it's one of those ones where you it's should like definitely not have that the, much the, excitement the, starting any sentence in this? <laughs> no, no, no. Because, because oh, dude, I'm hold on, hold on, I got it, it. No, no, no. It would be it would be fun to ride. Is why I'm so excited. Because what you, you do is the the, you, the train goes and you obviously end at your destination. We all know the destination of what it is. And at the end, then people get on. They're like, I think not. And then you get on, and the Nazis get beat up. <laughs> And then the train goes backwards. So it's like one of those, it's one of those rides where you go through and then you do the whole thing again backwards though. Nice. Kind of like uh, the Scorpion ride in uh, at Universal Studios. Mm. You end up in Israel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's where you get off. That's it's what happens in Schindler's ending. List, I yeah. think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, whole, and, and such whole, it was, the Jews were given their historical homeland and ancestral. Yay! <laughs> That'll be 50 quid, please. That'll be fifty quid. Um, it could be I'm like think of a, you, you ever play, you ever ride the dinosaur ride in Disney World after the dinosaur movie? I don't think so. It's well, it's it's one of those themic oh. cinematic rides where you, you kind of like go. I wrote the story. I wrote the Jurassic Park ride in Universal Studios. It's probably similar. Yeah, that ride was fucking. It's kind of scary. Yeah, you kinda, you get in like a kind of scared the shit out like of like a a jungle truck and it goes through the jungle and there's like animatronic dinosaurs and stuff and yeah. Yeah. yeah, Disneyland. The rides are actually pretty sweet. When I went, like Space Mountain was fun. Mm. The, all the Star Wars rides were fucking great. I, I I had so much fun on every Star Wars ride. So fun. Um, I don't know. I I, I liked I liked all of them. I don't know. I fucking liked every ride I was on. It was good. I'm trying to I'm still trying to fucking think of what would be a crazy. I feel like it's like yeah, Schindler's List is pretty obvious, but is there one that's a little more inspired? You know what I mean? You're like, oh, oh, so Schindler's List isn't an inspiring story? <laughs> no, well, it's an inspiring story, but it's just it's, oh, yeah. it feels too obvious. I'm trying to think of something that weird. is the only one I had immediately chambered, <laughs> especially because <laughs> especially because because it, it, it's like not only is it a ride, but it's like a whole area. You know what I mean? In the park that you have to dedicate to it, and imagine. This I'm trying to put you guys in the mindset of you go in, you're like, all right, where are we starting first? And you open up the little map, the little brochure map, and then you're like, okay, there's uh, the Simpsons area. Nah, it's okay. The Harry Potter area. No. Wait, they have this here? And it's that. And that's the area. Like, you're trying to get that kind of reaction. I mean, Schindler's List would would do it, but is I, there something if you better? had, if you're like a Harry Potter Simpsons, Schindler's Lit, like, holy so, fuck, <clears throat> I have to see that. I mean, yeah, it'd be awesome. I'm trying to think of something almost disappointing too, like a whole area that's dedicated to that. You remember that Cartoon Network show, Code Lyoko? <laughs> oh God, fakely. It's, it's terrible, terrible. Can you imagine them spending fifty million dollars making a Code Lyoko area? How, what, like, how so, about something like that? How about the Green Mile? Yeah, the Green Mile. It's just not very. It's just pre, it's too real. I'm trying to think of like kind of an eccentric area that would work well because the thing about like harry potter is it's like oh you have a big fantasy world thing you know you could walk around star wars is kind of a big adventure thing as well green mile i mean that'd be kind of crazy it's just so the whole the whole thing though is that it has to work in the outside realm too like you have to be able to walk outside and then at the green mile you're in a prison the whole time so that wouldn't work you it's like no it's like a fun uh but shouldn't like there's less wood because you're being you know, chased you're by, by that black guy the whole the whole way through Okay, well, first of all, you wouldn't be chased because he's a good guy. He's like he's like God doesn't, or something. Doesn't he chase I'm sure. doesn't John he, Coffey? Doesn't he get arrested for chasing like a, a white woman or something in the beginning? Well, they 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 accuse him of that. They accuse him of that. Right, but, but it's, John it's dark in man. there, so you don't know if it's it's him or not, and that kind of thematically. You fits. would you would a hundred percent know <laughs> if the six foot eight John Coffey, like four hundred pounds of raw muscle John Coffey. I don't think anybody would be like, is that him? <laughs> Or not, I can't could, tell. I, I mean, this is so ambiguous, just like the film. This makes perfect sense. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I mean, like the film. Everyone's like, I don't think it was ambiguous at all. I'm pretty sure. No, no, it was really ambiguous. It was so crazy. I, I don't know. You don't have one? I feel like you must have one, Hunter. I'm trying to I'm think. I'm trying to think. Gold. I'm trying to think about a good one. 
You've given me two, <laughs> two questionable, hard to talk about movies that 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 would that would not make good theme set areas. What about Don? Don, do you have any? Well, you're you're saying questionable, like anything kind of ah, hardcore classic or Don. edgy. Don't, uh, don't, don't speak too much. He, 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 he died. You can't hear me? I'm trying to think Try about to what scream? would be just absolutely fucked too. Like if there was like a fucking, uh, I'm even trying to think about video games too. You would actually be kind of cool. Uh, you know, I'd be down with if there was like a ratchet and clank or like a Sly Cooper area. I feel like that'd be, that'd get my dick hard a little bit. How I like do Sly we, Cooper. How do You're, we feel about Sonic? I am honestly, I am surprised there isn't a Sonic thing because they've already done Mario. Like I'm surprised, surprised, like you imagine going somewhere and there's like the big rings that are floating around and you have like the big loops. Probably do. And also they'd sell chili dogs. Isn't that his thing? Isn't like the, that his fucking retarded thing is that he, he eats chili dogs or whatever. I've never really, I've never really been to like a theme park like this. So maybe you boys could run me through like what one could expect. And then from there I can help. Can you hear me now? So, and can like anybody hear me? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you now. All right. Yeah, I can so hear you Something now. was wrong. In Universal, in Universal, you can either go to Mario or, yeah, it's Mario, Mario or Harry Potter World. But it's like a section of the park is just solely themed in that. They want you to so like in Mario, you feel like you're walking around in the Yeah, universe. like in the actual world. So they make restaurants So Harry Potter, I'm not going to lie. The Harry Potter world was pretty fucking immersive. It's, I'm not going to lie. Like it's, it's they, they have the, Pocket. It's a your park. Oh, now see that would be a good theme park. Mm-hmm. Hobbiton. It's a Hobbiton. Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all immersive, and the whole thing is that you sh- you should be able to walk into any shop and like buy stuff or interact. It's kind of like you get dropped into the world. So with Mario, you can go up to things and like hit uh like those like. Uh, question blocks and it'll ding and stuff. So you can do that. And there's usually a big ride and there's a place to eat and there's like a merch shop kind of thing, but it's all pretty immersive. You can, I'd assume you could spend a couple hours walking around the little thing, but the whole thing too, is once you leave there, you still have the whole park. So it's just like a little section of something. So that's why I'm trying to think of something where it's like, what would be the most obnoxious one? But I, I, I don't know. I really think you'd have to do something for just fucking crazy where you're like, why the fuck would you want to walk around this? So Schindler's list makes sense. I think you just got it immediately. I thought it was going to be a fun conversation, but really it was too, it was too easy. Well, it we is didn't discuss, astounding how often that answer works for almost anything. We didn't discuss what the area of the park would actually look like though. You just talked about a ride, but the, the area of Schindler's list, you know, I imagine it would look somewhat well, like I, Poland. I, yeah. Hmm. What year? <laughs> <laughs> they could make and where? they could make everything. Luckily, in black the visionary and white, like the Spielberg movie. did kind of slayed all out for us. Wait, it, maybe it wasn't a Spielberg film. I feel like I must be misremembering that. <laughs> I think it. I think it actually literally was Spielberg, or he produced it. Oh, was it? it? I, I think. I, I think he it, just I think straight after E.T. Yeah. He was like, "Yeah, that was a bit too light. I think I'm going to delve into something a bit heavier." Well, he did start off with Jaws. Yeah, no, that's that's equivalent to Schindler's List, I suppose. Yeah, or it was, <laughs> it was directed and produced by Steven Spielberg. Right. No, I just kind of had the autistic uh, thought of like a predator theme. Area. Oh, that'd be, be fun. Sweet. You have to try and make it out alive. Like a jungle. Yeah. Jungle landscape. You have to walk around. It's, and re- it's, like it's really dark. And and Danny and Glover's chasing you through the, the set. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah. First off, that's Predator too. And also, okay, well, that and the, the, we're, not, we're, not, we're not, we're not having famous actors chasing anybody through. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to dive. I'm not going to participate in this, but I will say, imagine how easy it'd be to, to, to like throw some speakers in the uh, trees. You can hear the predator. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah like every once in a while. And then you have big buff guys walking around in army shit and they're just firing blanks everywhere in the distance, right? And at some point you can walk around enough and then that the ride is the is the chopper. Is the ride is getting to the chopper or something like that. Or it's you are riding out of the thing with the chopper. I, but you probably want it to be something where you have to get to the chopper and that's like the end of the ride. You know what I mean? You get to escape. Yeah, you you have to go down like a mudslide. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'd be a cool thing. I'd like that. I'd like to see just a bunch of like the alien predators walking around 
and their gear and stuff. It wouldn't be very immersive though. If it's going to be, you need like, I don't know. It needs to be like you catch glimpses of the predator. Yeah, no, not uh, yeah. Well, that's true. Well, you know, actually, for photo ops, you'd want one at least walking around, but you want one at least just like being kind of creepy and just hiding and looking at you. <laughs> Has like the little laser gun thing, little laser pointing at your chest, and then you like, oh, no! fucking you like blows dive down for your chest cavity. Yeah, and it's actually it's just a it's just sh- a sawed off twelve gauge shotgun <laughs> on his shoulder, <laughs> just blows your fucking head off. Oh my god. But no one knows. It's like you're screaming and saying that, but no one knows because you're in the predator section. So it's just this fucking mass murder that's happening in the uh, in the theme park. But everyone thinks that it's just uh, it's just part, part of the bit. Yeah. yeah, you're like, wow, those child yeah, actors be good, being fun. fucking splattered along the pavements are really convincing. Yeah, this is beautiful practical effects. They don't do this enough anymore. Everything's green screen. I guess to be saying. fair, the predator wouldn't target a child because it's got honor. <laughs> Not me. There's got to be one predator who's just like, I don't give a fuck. In it, the, the, the like lion like trophy again. hunter of the predators, standing <laughs> yeah. on his like He's the, on his fucking killed elephant, blew a hole through the elephant. His just. fucking <laughs> his. There's a fucking predator standing on top of his fucking his his mound of baby skulls. Yeah, he's the predator. He's like, you know, because there's always in, there's, a, in a fort, you know, and like the feeder goes <laughs> yeah. off and he just waits for them. Yeah. He, uh, cause you know, there's always a shot in those predator films where it's the predator like is cleaning the skull off yeah, or whatever. They're like, you know what I mean? They're like, de- so it's just that it's just tons of babies. And he's like, Oh my God, baby school where he's like, what a kill. Yeah. What a, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a, th- what a thrilling kill. <laughs> well, he, he likes, you know, he likes big games. So he's gone and found like the doughiest, fattest downy he could find and just blown a hole through their fucking chest and took their skull. Yeah, he fucking looks at his skull and it's all misshapen yeah. like a weird potato. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, what the f- Why the fuck does it look like this? Yeah, pretty clean so kill. He becomes fat. He'd be- yeah, but he's like, yeah. If anything, that'd be, that would be a sh- fucking difficult kill. Can you imagine that? Yeah, Only I do imagine like to be able to overpower retards run fucking- through the jungle at a frightening, dizzying pace. <laughs> Plowing over trees. <laughs> Yeah, and so you just see fucking trees falling left and right. You just hear these huge, heavy stomps. And that pig squeal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that would people make when they run away from predators. <laughs> <laughs> just shooting those like blue plasma balls <laughs> over the forest. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's, he's definitely got a big gut and he fucking just sits up in a tree stand all day. He's got one of those ozone things that like keep mosquitoes away. Yeah, but that's the thing, see, is that he meets his match, though. He thinks it's going to be an easy kill. He's been relaxing forever. And he fucking, he thinks it's a big deal, but it ends up scaring the predator because he's like, what the, f- this is supposed to be easy. And then they shoot, he shoots that fucking like that net that kills people. You know what I mean? It's like the net that yeah. shoots and, and like, it like gets yeah. tighter, but the fucking guy just bites through it, <laughs> gets out of it. And he's like, what the fuck? Starts climbing up the fucking, uh, the tree, like a black bear. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, oh. he like hops off. He goes invisible, but the fucking. The fucking uh, Down syndrome guy is like already blind technically, so he's just smelling him. So he knows where he's at each time. Doesn't even fucking matter. <laughs> just immediately fucking runs into the dense jungle. Maybe even starts counter hunting the predator. I imagine he's running a lot like uh, the the guy's running a lot like the like the sacrificial dude in Two Towers, the Urukai guy that's like running. Oh, the and berserker. They try to shoot him down. Yeah, they try to shoot him down with his fucking bows and arrows. That's exactly what he sounds like and how like. That's exactly what his body looks like, too. Just like fucking like ripped, sweaty. Yeah, guy. With the little almond eyes and the epithetic folds. Yeah, a bowl cut. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking drop, drop kicking 400 year old trees down with ease. <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to have to go back to the armory. That's the predator, by the way. He just sounds like a <laughs> yeah. Midwestern man. Holy shit, oh, I don't holy think I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> yeah, ironically, he earns Just, all yeah. the, the respect of the predators by taking down this incredibly difficult prey. Well, especially you find out that he he tries stabbing him in the head with his like, you know, like the, the wrist blades, the two blades yeah. that come out, shink, whatever. Try stabbing there and fucking breaks him. 
tries to stab him in the head, breaks it. His head's so hard. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Whatever, running through. And yeah, then when you get the kill, it's like, oh, actually, and that's kind of the arc too of the story is that you find out that the predator, who was the hero all along, by the way, was uh, that he needed that challenge, that he was lacking challenge in his life. And that once he gets it, now he's respected by his people and he decides to like seek that high again. Yeah. Well, maybe, uh, maybe he like tries to cheat his way into it and he goes to like a Walmart parking lot and he just finds one like stacking shopping trolleys and he kills that one and he just feels like well, that's what shit that, about it. But see that exactly. Now you're now, now you're making sense because he usually does this. It's very easy. And then his tribe or whatever is fucking pissed at him. And they're like, you know what? We're going to drop him into a place and he's going to think this is going to be easy, but it's not. So he gets a rude awakening. Yeah. I mean, so then whenever, so then when he kills him, now they know that he has his respect. They're like, okay, yeah, you're, you're one of us. Yeah. All those pictures of, of like you standing on elephants that are on your wall. No one cares about them, but the one where you're standing yeah, with no your boot on the throat of a severely retarded person brought much, much honor to our predator tribe. It was an impossible kill. Don't know how you did it. We've you we've all thrown spears at the retarded guy, and that we never hit him, and somehow you did it. Maybe he used his oh, own innate do- understanding of like food <laughs> desire and laziness. Yeah, we find out that the predator is also partially retarded, so he's able to. Yeah, he can. He can. Kind of, that's that's a yeah. nice twist. He takes off his mask like they all do in the films, and you see he's <laughs> he got the little nice almond eyes. <laughs> he's got. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Down syndrome <laughs> predator looks like. Uh, I kind of want to draw that. Syndrome? So a, a, a regular Down syndrome or a regular predator is just like, <laughs> like right? Has like a weird like bark thing. <laughs> so I wonder what the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But you don't, he- but you don't really, hear really, that in the really movie because off, he's, he's wearing the mask. Yeah, but then he takes it off huh? and he looks kind of like the the tigers yeah. with Down syndrome. Mm-hmm. You ever seen them? No, there's there, there's tigers with Down syndrome. Oh, dude, it's incredible. They look exactly like it, you. Yeah. If you looked I, at it, you'd be like, oh, that tiger's got Down syndrome. They look exactly the same I as Down syndrome a, people. I adopted a uh, or a dog that I didn't know was retarded when I was younger, and I gave it back. Did I have Down syndrome? Didn't know. Yeah. Dude, this dog. <laughs> Didn't know. It's got Down syndrome. Look at it. Yep. Kind of looks like the. No, I'm not gonna say that. Is that it? I'm saying, looks like it's. It looks like the guy from uh, Stranger Things. <laughs> that kid. <laughs> it looks just like him. Oh, it does. I got my teeth fixed. <laughs> Okay. Did you see my new team? Yeah, the copy did real good. Yeah, we, yeah, we saw it. All right, we should probably start this the shot, right? Yeah, but did you see my team? Should I smile? Should I smile in this shot? I think I should probably smile. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the Stranger Things script has for us this year. It's a big smile, I hope. Yeah, what I, I bet he's I bet he's a I bet he's a nice kid. You know what I mean? Nah, I don't I don't buy it. I don't like him. <laughs> you don't think he's a nice guy? Nah. Damn. I think he's a real prick. The way he flaunted that toothless disease in front of everyone, like it's something to be proud of. Yeah, that is kind of rude, isn't Just it? Just accept that you Want, were born with a bad hand and fix it like the rest of us. <laughs> I, that's what he did, though. Yeah, kind of, but not that. before four seasons of like, look at my mouth. Isn't it weird? I thought that he fixed. I thought he fixed it when he was like second season, and also he was wasn't he like nine in the first season or some shit like that? Weren't they or like twelve or whatever? I don't know, dude. Fuck that guy. So he's a young kid. <laughs> I he hey, probably, I fixed my teeth. You know, I didn't you probably have to finish around, letting your jaw nilly. grow or whatever. Tom, you're like 33 years old. And yeah. You just now fixed so your for teeth. 30, he's 12. for 33 years, I had extreme self control. I never once went, hey, look at me, British teeth. And I fixed them quietly. I didn't make a big you're fuss telling about me, it. You, you're telling me oh you God. didn't once say, look at my British teeth. I'm almost positive you I, said but that. But if I did, I was led into it. Like one of you was like, oh, hey, let me see your British teeth. And I was like, oh, I don't want to, but I will. I definitely think that I, I definitely think you just went up to one of my rooms one time and you were just like, look at me teeth. I'm a British boy. That'll be 50 quid, Judge, to look at me teeth. That'll be 50 quid to fix these teeth. 
It's maybe the worst running. Is bit quid still of, what you guys do? Do you use, yeah. do you use quid? Yes. Have you, ever, quid. have you ever spent quid before? Don, it's not about see. increasing your volume, bro. I already did that. You're not even coming through. <laughs> you're like, you're not coming through at all. It's not volume. People are on the edge of their seats. See, this is actually what our podcast was missing was uh, was the anticipation. They want to know what's happening. Just finish without you. Yeah. Fuck off. You're not getting out of this. Only 20 minutes Only left. Only 20 minutes left. No, that's almost half the episode, bro. All right, it's been, all right, it's been, it's been docked out of your pay then. <laughs> Don, it's been, it's been docked out. <laughs> he just says, sure. Okay, dude. No, no, no text fight. Whatever, dude. I don't, Whatever, man. This is not. What's going on with the mic? What's wrong with it? Yeah. Here, actually, if anything, just keep texting and we'll say it. And then I'll be content for the podcast. So what's going on with your mic, Don? This is him preparing us for when he has to do that uh, Stephen Hawking thing. We're like <laughs> Texas speech or whatever. <laughs> Just put shrug emoji. How the fuck do you not know what's going on with your mic? Have you been doing this for a while? <laughs> You're not even like putting the actual emoji. You're just typing it. It's so fucking. Yeah, he's just typing emoji. Cool. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Got this fucking 2007 <laughs> meme. <whatever. laughs> Uh, we definitely uh, haven't had 40 minutes of quality content either. Nope. Oh, oh, he's gone. Well, you know, I don't, I don't think we, I think in the last 12 episodes, we haven't had one episode without some kind of technical error. Uh, yeah, we're which taking I don't know. Green for seriously I don't know how now. it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you? And you just uploaded a picture of a monkey. Yeah, with Down nice Syndrome. little orangutan. That's a, that's a Down Syndrome monkey? I don't know, but it was on Down Syndrome Tiger Google search. So. Mm. Why do you th- what do you think the real reason God is he had to leave? I, my brain instantly thinks that he has to go chow down on some clam, but maybe that's too easy. I feel like something... I feel like he got a delivery or something. I remember that one time whenever he, the Xbox One first oh, came out. so and funny. That, you <laughs> took that picture of him like meeting the video. fucking male guy video. in the road. <laughs> Yeah, it's like him like meeting him at the truck and he's just like, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, he's got such a fucking smug swagger about him as he walks yeah. back with his prize. I def- yeah, I definitely knew he cleared his throat and he was like, <clears throat> turned around and like, <laughs> was walking back. <laughs> I'm going to be gaming so hard. Literally never went online twice. ever again. Yeah, played it fucking twice. And- <laughs> yeah, was say- hey man, you're going to be on Xbox tonight? Oh yeah. my God, I can't. I'm just so busy. I doubt it. I doubt it. Me and me and my girlfriend are gonna go to Jaws on the Lake. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> we watch Jaws on the Lake with people. It's a really cool gimmick. Oh yeah, that sounds pretty fun. You want to come? Eh, not really, dude. You hate everything. <laughs> okay. Oh god, I feel like we shouldn't do this for, <laughs> for another twenty minutes. Poor Don. No, no. Let's make fun of the We've people who can defend once. themselves, and that's Downies. We, you know, we did do it once, and it seems yes, like it was a smash hit. Yes, it was still our most quoted episode. Hit, I will time. say, but I will say, I think for it, it made him upset for at least two years. I'm almost positive. That is true. Maybe that wasn't. That's a over seven hundred days. Smart. Idea. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't the smart. <laughs> it, it wasn't the smartest idea. But sometimes you're you're grasping at straws. This is the problem too, though, with doing a podcast, man. Is that sometimes you just you have nothing to say. Do you, you have nothing to do say? Do you have this same problem in your other podcasts? Yeah, I, I'd say so. Yeah, I feel like also our bar yeah, for quality a, it's a, it's is so high, so high that anything less than awesome is not good a, enough. That's what people, that's what people know and love from the show too. Is that the bar is set so extremely high that it's hard to actually keep up with it. I mean, for real. That's the thing. That, that's the th- that's the thing. Is that I, you know, it's just we, there's what we do. That we got to get into a new trajectory on YouTube, man. Is we got to do something where we go, we eat at fancy restaurants, we travel more, and then we can talk about these things. Otherwise, it's just when we do this, it's just all we ever do is sit at our desks and work on cartoons. Well, I've I've spent almost a month in Europe, and we still have nothing to talk about. <laughs> 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 at some point well, it might mean, just be us. I, I think it might be us yeah and you know that's okay that that's all right i think people yeah, if anything people can relate with how we have nothing to say and probably other people don't have anything to say okay how about is, this how know, about probably this? a good thing i will say that i am looking forward to the silent hill 2 remake 
I'm that comes out next month. Later I next I month. care nothing for that. I have a better idea. How about this? Okay. If you could give Down syndrome to any one group of animal, what would you pick? Don. Okay, that's oh. Don's. Um. Well, I, I, that, that doesn't matter because there's always there's always a, a bald eagle. That that, that does that Down does syndrome sound eagle. like it would be very funny. Do you think the beak would be bigger or smaller? It would certainly be more squished, maybe more stout. It's actually it's actually as soft as like cartilage in an ear. That's what that's what the, the beak yeah, is it almost struggles to fucking useless. It struggles to pick fish up, whatever the fuck they eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fish, fish, and uh, yeah, it can only survive by stealing apple sauce off the porch of unsuspecting women who live in the mountain cabins. Dude, I love I love applesauce, man. You you like applesauce? Are you a big applesauce person? No, nah, do, do you like kinda, applesauce? Kind of bland in it. I like I like applesauce. I like regular applesauce, and I like cinnamon applesauce. I like c- cinnamon applesauce, which is nothing but raw sugar, but still, I mean, it, it's a good snack. It's a nice. I like a nice cinnamon applesauce. They used to have uh, in public school. They used to have this cinnamon applesauce, but the applesauce was like red. So they did something else with it. Probably so. something like that. But it oil sound boy was like a tasty. good thing. That sounds dangerous. No, it, no, it definitely health health wise, absolutely not. But taste wise, oh boy, good stuff. <laughs> oh boy, good stuff. Oh boy, did you sneak oh a few boy. extra packets in your pockets? It was never that. It was like it was one of those shitty plastic trays that had like compartments in them anyway. So they just took a scoop and they would just plop it in there. You can't hear me now. So it was never like a. Yes, yeah, so now we hear you. All right. Hello, Don. What's going on? What are we? What are we? What are we talking we, about, boys? All three of us. We what are we talking about at the moment? Uh, but, Apple But now, I, now I kind is. of want to save it for Big Brain. We were discussing if you could give any one animal group Down syndrome, which would it be? But maybe that's for Big Brain. The whole of the animal group, or just one? The whole of the animal group now has Down syndrome. I said, I said, I said, an, an eagle, a bald eagle, would be funny. which is pretty good. I, I like. I think, that mos- I think mosquitoes, practically speaking, <laughs> it's truly bald too. That do you know what? Practically speaking, that is that is a really good answer. But I do like the like state animal, the country animal of America having Down syndrome is really funny to me. Ah! I don't like that at all. I think that's that's mean. It actually barks. (laughs) (laughs) Because we were saying that its beak is kind of squishy like ear cartilage. Mm. So it would be able to actually like perch its beak up to make those sounds. <laughs> I th- <laughs> I yeah, think it just steals apple sauce from old ladies. The bald eagle already sucks. Yeah. Like its sound already sucks too. The one we use in movies no, is like a hawk. the hawk. sound is cool. No, the one in the movies is like a no, hawk. Really its so. real sound is just like a little chirp. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. No, I don't like it. And they, and they look very mean so, the, a lot of the time. And actually, the Down syndrome bald eagle, it doesn't fly. It runs. <laughs> but it runs fast. <laughs> I really like that. It runs like a... It's fucking runs lopsided. runs kind of like a crab. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of fat and lopsided and with its squishy beak. It's fucking horrifying. People are in like a national Roof. Like a state park. Roof. And you see, yeah. Roof. Roof. <laughs> Like what the fuck is that? Is that a bear? No, bears don't. Wolf, hey, dumbass! Hey, don't don't attack. Stay away from that. That's state protected. That's federally protected <laughs> you, animal. What, what, well, you hear a twig break. Like, what the fuck? You should. <laughs> now that roof, roof, roof. Ah, there she is. Like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? And yeah, the state ranger comes out and he's just like, "You can't shoot that. That's a seventy-five thousand dollar fine." That's an endangered bird. Hey, that's America. Like, sure, You're going to shoot America? And they're like, I'm pretty sure eagles aren't endangered. Well, the Down syndrome eagle <laughs> is. That's a $175,000 fine. Did you just raise it up $100,000? Yes. Well, they're always Roof. running off of cliffs okay, and boy. they can't fucking they can't fly. So they just tumble to Roof. their death like bison. Roof. Yeah, he's just looking for his peanut butter traps that we have out here to keep him fed. He's <laughs> 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 got peanut butter and maple syrup and jars out here to make sure that they're all right and that they're well fed. Isn't that right, boy? <laughs> <laughs> You're a good boy. Now get out of here. Just quickly, he just like puts on a new diaper on him. And he's like, runs they off. They wear diapers too, <laughs> of course. Into- yeah, they, they were, they were, they were diapers. Oh, they're stronger than they look, you know. You could bite through a tank if you wanted to. 
<laughs> that that beak, that beak could pierce a tank if it wanted to. It's like all droopy. It looks like an old man's nose. <laughs> it's a beautiful bird. It is a symbol it's a of America. Bird. It's, it's 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 a shame that the non uh, that the flying version of these are the uh, the country symbol because I'd much rather prefer the grand dwelling. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Then the, then, the, then the ranger just walks back into the woods. Forever. I do like I do like Don's practical outlook with choosing mosquitoes as an answer. That would be a good thing to make fucking retarded. I think they'd. I feel like it'd make it more dangerous. No, I guess they'd stop at nothing. It'd work out. I think they'd sustain yeah. their population, so you wouldn't fuck up the ecosystem. You know. <laughs> yeah, and they'd make that sound naturally. <laughs> God, can It'd you imagine that's somehow more annoying than the <laughs> If you're just trying to sleep in bed and you just hear Roof! Roof! That would actually but, be fucking but terrifying. It's as, but it's as loud as uh, the eagle as well, so it's so small, but it makes that kind of sound. Roof! That would legit be fucking terrifying. Can you, you're trying to like sleep, you just hear it bumping into the window doing that. Yeah. <laughs> probably so many the of them do. Down syndrome mosquitoes. Maybe more horrifying is you hear the woof from a distance. Mm-hmm. You get up, you're like, "What the fuck?" You look out your window, and then your driveway there comes a little retarded bald eagle running up with his diaper <laughs> on. And you just fucking hear your goddamn front door just explode <laughs> open off its hinges. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you can do in your house to stop the fucking storm that lies ahead. Just climbing the stairs. Yeah, you have to lay out a, the a series, the of, a series of fucking Home Alone esque traps. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of paint buckets and stuff <laughs> flying at them. <laughs> Gets hit, <laughs> rolls on the steps. <laughs> Hurry! You better not mess with me. I bet you can't catch me. So you say to him, "You're all like Kevin McAllister <laughs> mode." <laughs> Gets back up. Moves past the paint buckets. His face runs into a, a sheet of saran wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Trips and falls on the ground again. <laughs> Slips on marbles. <laughs> yeah, tr- 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 tarantulas on his uh, is on his uh, it's on his nose, whatever. And he's like, <laughs> gets scared. Ah. Yeah, keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> That's what happens in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's getting shot at by a Tommy gun. Freaks out, runs away. <laughs> 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 yeah, before you know it, you're you're in New York for a vacation and you're fucking yeah. across the street. You forgot your kid. <laughs> you're from in, you're in a penthouse. You're like in a penthouse suite in a super expensive hotel. There's a retarded <laughs> bird woman on top of the uh, on top of the hotel as well. <laughs> she communicates with the she communicates with the bird as well. I know who you are. <laughs> what would you call that series if it's not Home Alone? What would it be? Something like something with bird in it. Yeah, <laughs> Some, something like that. I'm trying to think. Bird alone. Bird. Uh, uh, Patriot down. <laughs> Patriot, Patriot down. Down's pretty good. <laughs> it's like a fucking Downs, war film. Yeah. Dude, that's great. Well, it, it, you, you kind of get people in there, yeah. but it's pretty good. You get the down part of it for the down yeah, syndrome. The, the bald the eagle teams up with bird. Chris Kyle to t- hunt down Kevin McAllister. Yeah, yeah. I heard he looted thirty TVs out of that Best Buy. Roof. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him. <laughs> little Down Syndrome bird and camouflage. <laughs> camouflage and combat boots. <laughs> so, this, might, this might be a new fucking low for this podcast. <laughs> for, for the riffing, yeah. It's like... It, it, you it's, know what, dude? No, you guys said the dude, exact same thing against ball against wall. It's admirable. And that became a beloved thing. So I think that people are going to love the barking Down Syndrome <laughs> bird, which is, which is what we will call the episode. <laughs> uh, that's a fucking great title. I'll click it. Down Syndrome barking bird. <laughs> it's a good one it's very good i like it a lot oh, especially boy. i want to see an american i want to see an american flag with the with down syndrome bird with his combat boots on and his uh his diaper and his uh and his non-usable wings so whoever can make that out there thank you so much and please send me a flag thank you simplify 
I want to to all of our crazy twisted vets listening to this. You guys have your new mission. Hoorah! I want them to have a falconry person with it on their arm, and I want them to release it into the Super Bowl stadium for Super Bowl halftime show. As everyone fucking cheers at the top of their lungs as the little bird runs around People the field. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually afraid because it's too loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking. It becomes America. such a staple. They make they make a uh, they make a giant inflatable version of him for the Macy's Day Parade, Thanksgiving Day Parade. Oh, you see a giant yeah. one. And Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger is spending the whole thing yeah, with the crazy bird. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get his son an action figure and the bird is also trying yeah. to get his son an action figure <laughs> exactly <laughs> let go of the turbo man action figure <laughs> <laughs> we're just taking we're just taking every christmas film and putting the bird <laughs> Yeah, and then the bird has family over, uh, has family over, and he thinks he's going to get a big raise. Um, and he has his friends come over, and he's trying to impress people for his Christmas vacation. So the bird is uh, is Clark Griswold. And Christmas vacation would be pretty good. And also, he sits there and he wants a red, he wants a Red Rider BB gun. In- You'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> gets pushed down the gets pushed down the slide. <laughs> <laughs> Until the inevitable day that he accidentally knocks Santa Claus off the roof and starts turning into Santa Claus. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Wears a suit for no reason and becomes becomes a wear Santa Claus. <laughs> a fucking wear Santa. <laughs> Cutting off his big white beard, all those feathers pouring down. He can't some he can't Dead. stop eating his maple syrup peanut butter cups even more, gains even more yeah. weight. <laughs> Dad, you keep gaining weight. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty good. I would watch I'd that. Like that. That'd be that'd be that would make that would make the Christmas season a whole lot jollier, in my opinion. Yeah, Granted, then we could. Start... You would probably feel you'd, you'd probably feel the characters bleed together a little bit, but I think it would it would even. No, it'd be out. cute. It'd start changing the fabric of America. We wouldn't have turkeys anymore. We would fucking eat retarded bald eagles. It'd, be, it'd bring everyone oh, together. No, the, if, if, if if they became that if they became that beloved, you would never kill them. If anything, turkey would be people would even mock the turkey even more for being so useless. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think people would want to actively kill this bird because they love him. He's, he's, he's like a superstar. He's like your, he's your favorite character in every movie that comes out. <laughs> I suppose that's true, but yeah. maybe it becomes almost religious, yeah. like eating the flesh of Christ. Yeah, they make Down Syndrome eagle crackers. <laughs> the blood and the body. <laughs> <laughs> you, you eat the cracker and you do... Bastard. Stick your tongue out when you roof. Who's wearing a? Who's basically wearing like a fucking Native American like feathered headdress? <laughs> Does it right back to you? That's actually how we evolve, and we all the country heals as everybody stops talking in their native languages, and everybody talks in a uh, retarded bird from now on. Yeah, this is everybody a real Power other. of Babel kind of odyssey. Yeah, this is how the country heals. This is how the world heals. I like so I like how your solution to the feathers. world healing is for all the immigrants to stop speaking foreign languages. <laughs> I said everybody, even people speaking English, stop speaking English, and you do just. Oh, do I see. Everyone marks. can get on a common common page. Exactly, because then it's like no one is saying that any, no one is saying that any language is correct or like you know the best language to but speak. But English is it all becomes the best language. It become well, no, no, but it becomes yeah, Down syndrome bird that becomes the language to speak. I will admit, Down syndrome bird is a better language than English, but English is a better language than all the other ones after that. I see. Well, and I tell you what, you know, as we start rolling oh into the God. last <laughs> couple minutes, which is this, this became this be, this became <laughs> one of a highlight of an episode. I want to say uh, we had it's, it's a classic cream crew episode. It's a classic cream crew episode. We have something that we I, I force fed a meme down everybody's throat. <laughs> uh, we had some kind of technical issue uh, somehow, and uh, you know we are we 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 scathed we 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 skirted by by the skin of our teeth to the ending of Dude, the episode. I don't know what, why what we're not growing. I mean, we've got an inconsistent schedule. We force memes. No, no, like, no. What we're, are we we're doing growing, wrong? We're growing. <laughs> I think that we're growing 
handsomely. I would say handsomely growing. Against, you against can't, the metrics. You can't force perfection, dude. You can't force perfection is what I say. That's And true. I'd say we're damn near perfect. Uh, you know what, Hunter? That's what I'd That's say. a very compelling argument. What's that? I'm totally on board. Thank you. And did Don, well, do you have anything that. to you. add to this excellent uh, archived episode of Cream Crew? Not a goddamn thing. Not a single thing. <laughs> wow. It truly is a Cream Crew episode. Mm. I'm, very, <laughs> I'm glad everyone participated. Absolutely. About how you'd expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very, very good. Very nice. Sign up for right, YouTube well, memberships. You can have cool cream crew emojis and loyalty badges. Are we sending them all to Patreon? Well, we got it's the same thing. You can get access to the premium episodes through the membership and through Patreon. But this is if you just don't want to have to go to Patreon, if you just want to stay on YouTube, you can do that. Even though Patreon is pretty sexy, YouTube membership, you get to have nice little badges that YouTube lets us put up. That you can interact with in the comment section. Okay. Oh. Well, you know what? Epic. Thank you so much for watching Cream Crew. We appreciate you listeners. And we also thank our beautiful, beautiful supporters on Patreon and apparently YouTube memberships. We hope you have a fantastic week. And you know what? We can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.